Let's define absolute convergence. A series converges absolutely if you can replace all the terms of the series with their absolute value and the resulting series converges. So this converges absolutely if we can put absolute value signs around these terms and it still converges. A sentence you probably don't want to say is that something absolutely converges, but it doesn't converge. Fortunately, you will never have to say such a sentence. Absolute convergence is stronger than convergence. If a series converges absolutely, it converges. Now, the converse of this theorem is not true. You can have series that converge, but do not converge absolutely. We'll wait until the next section to talk about those examples, because to demonstrate that a series converges but does not converge absolutely, we'll need the alternating series test from the next section. This is really the theorem that we're going to use in this section. We're going to learn a test called the ratio test. And the way the ratio test is going to work is that it's going to check for absolute convergence. And then if we use the ratio test and find that a series converges absolutely, this theorem tells us that it converges in the regular sense. Still, since we're talking about absolute convergence, let's go ahead and state a classic theorem involving it. Theorem. If a series converges absolutely, we can rearrange its terms however we want. Rearranging the terms won't change the fact that it converges absolutely, and it won't change the sum. This theorem at first glance might seem obvious. This is the statement of commutivity. When you add numbers together, the order doesn't matter. So this is exactly how we'd expect sums to act. However, once you move from the finite to the infinite, you sometimes see unexpected things. Theorem, in general, infinite addition is not commutative. If a series converges, but it does not converge absolutely, then changing the order of addition will change the sum of the series. In fact, I'll go further. 
by carefully changing the order that you add the numbers in, it is possible to make any series like this that converges but does not converge absolutely equal any real number you want it to. So not only can you change the sum by changing the order, you can change the sum to literally any real number you want. Order matters with infinite addition, except when you have absolute convergence. Then the sum is commutative, and you can change the order of the terms. <laughs>